Hello, my name is Njord, and in honor of Hogwarts Legacy, Harry Potter, and uh, the whole franchise, I thought it was time to bring up a very, uh, very special piece of the fandom. Give it up for my immortal. Author note, special thanks, get it cause I'm gothic. My, to my GF, if not in that way, Raven Bloody Tear 666 for helping me with the story and spelling, Urok. Justin Ur the love of my depressing life, Urok 2, MCR Rocks. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way, and I have long ebony black hair, that's how I got my name. With purple streaks, red tips, uh, that reaches mid, um, my mid-back, and icy blue eyes, like limpid tears, and a lot of people telling me I look like a melee. Auto note, if you don't know who this is, get the hell out of here. I am not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was, because he is such a major fucking hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white, and I have pale white skin. I am also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I am the seventh year, I'm seventeen. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love hot topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it, and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and a black uh, combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, lipsticks, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I'm very happy about. A lot of uh, preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. Hey, Ebony. Hey, Ebony! Ebony shouted their voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Auto note. Is it a good please tell me thanks? Ah, oh, I think he means thanks. Auto note. Thanks to Bloody Tear 666 for helping me to. Helping me with the chapter. By the way, pre preps stop flaming my story, okay? The next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony and inside was a hot pink velvet. With the black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took off my giant MCR t-shirt which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, comet boots, black fishnets on. I put on fair four pairs of earrings in my pair's ears, and I put my hair in a kind of messy bun. My friend, Willow, auto note, Raven, this is you, woke up and uh, then and grinded, and grinned at me. She flipped her long waist length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her Forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirts with black, m with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high heel boots. We put on our makeup, black lipsticks, white foundation, and black eyeliner. Umfg! I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday. She said excitedly. Yeah. So I said, blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as she went on, as we went out of the slittering common room and into the great hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked off to me. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied. Guess what? What? Well, good Charlotte are having a concert at Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh, my fucking gee! I screamed, I love GC. They are my favorite band besides MCR. Well... Do you want to go with me? He asked. I gasped. Alternate. Stop flaming the story preps, okay? Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people for the good reviews. Thanks again, Raven. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't own this or the lyrics for good Charlotte. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace, up boots with high heels underneath, then, then were ripped fish, red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. 
I put matching fishnets on my arms, I straightened up my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. I read a depressing book and waited uh, while I stopped it for it to stop bleeding. I listened to some uh, GC. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. And I put on some black lipsticks. I did did not put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood. Uh, so I was all ready to go to the concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple uh, plan t-shirt. The way uh, the, they would play at the show too. Oh, oh simple plan. Oh, that's a band. All right. Baggy black uh, skater pants, black nail polish and a little eyeliner. Autonaut. A lot for Kevl's boys wear it, it okay. Hi, Draco. I, s- uh, I mean, hi, Draco. I said in depressed voice. Hi, Ebony. He said back. He walked into his flying Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666. And if and flew to the place of the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both um, smoked cigarettes and drugs. When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You come in cold, you're covered in blood. They're also happy you arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands uh, you to your mom. She set you free into this l- into this life, sang Joel. I, I don't own the lyrics to that song. You are so fucking off, they said to Draco, pointing uh, to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as he mushed the music I caught on. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? He asked Draco sensitively as he put his arm around me, all protective. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's sing he's going out with Hitler and fucking Duff. I fucking hate that little bitch. I said disgustingly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. The night went on really, really well, and we had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for the autographs and photo with them. We got uh, GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz. But Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into the forbidden forest. Auto note. I said, stop flaming, okay? Ebony name is Ebony, not Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that he's acting different. They knew and should be third, okay? Draco, I shouted. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and walked out of it. I walked out of it too, curiously. What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What? I snapped. Draco learned in, leaned in extra close and uh, I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness and then I suddenly didn't feel sad anymore. And then, dot, 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 dot. Suddenly, just as I, just as I, Draco kissed me passionate, passionately. Draco climbed on top of me and we started making, uh, make out keenly against a tree. He took off my top and I took off his clothes. I took off my bra. Then he put his thingy into my, you know what. And we did it for the first time. Oh, 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 I screamed. It was the beginning of an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere, and my kale, my pale body became warm and then. What the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? It was Dumbledore.
Auto note. Stop flaming if a flam if the flam it meant you're a prep or a poster. The only reason Dumbledore swore is cause he had a headache and uh, headache, okay. Um tip of that he was mad at them for having sex. Piss Piers, I am not updating until I get five good re reviews. Dum Dumbledore made uh, an Draco follow, and I follow him. He shouted at us angrily. You ludicrous fools! He shouted. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me when he said. Uh, we went back to the castle. Dumbl Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall. McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest. He yelled in a furious voice. Why would? Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGoggin-Agall. How dare you, demanded Professor Snake. Then Draco shrieked, Because I love her! Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and uh, Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but uh, Professor Snape said, Fine, very well. You may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs uh, while the teacher glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? asked the Drake. Mm, Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess, I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed back to a low cut black floor length dress with red laces all around it and black high heels when I came out. Draco was standing in front of the bathroom. He was starting, he started to sing. I just wanna live by good Charlotte. I was so flattered, and even though he wasn't supposed to be there, we hugged and kissed. After that, he said goodnight, and he, and he reluctantly went back to his room. Auto note. She, 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 she needs to perhaps, okay, please. Uh, we need to update, but till I, you give me good reviews. The next day, I woke up in my coffin. Uh, I put on a black miniskirt that was all ripped around the end and matching top with red skulls all over it, and high uh, high heel boots that were black. I put on a pair pairs of two uh, of I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I spray painted my hair with purple. In the great hall, I ate some count chocula uh, cereal with blood instead of milk, and a glass of red blood. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. Bastard! I shouted angrily. I, um, I regretted saying it when I looked up because I was looking at the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair and with red streaks. He was wearing so much eyeliner that uh, he was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick. <laughs> he didn't have glasses anymore. I know he was wearing red contact lenses, just like Draco. And there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stubble on his shin. He had a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like a Joel Madden. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him. Kind of like an erection. Um, only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. I'm sorry, he said in a shy voice. That's all right. What's your name, I question. My name is Harry Potter. Although people call me vampire these days, he grumbled. Why? Because I love the taste of human blood, <laughs> he giggled. Well, I am a vampire, I confessed. Really? Yeah, I roared. We sat down for a talk, then Drake had come up behind me and told me he had a surprise, so I went away with him. Auto note. Well, okay, guys, I'm only writing this because uh, I got the five good reviews. And by the way, I won't write down next chapter until I get ten good moves. Stop flaming or I'll report you. Even isn't Marie Sue, okay? She isn't a perfect. She's a satanist. And she has problems. She's depressed for God's sake. 
Drake, you and I held up um, our pale white hands in, with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I went. Um, I was wearing a red Satanist uh, signs on my nails in red uh, nail polish. Auto note. The, does that sound like a to you? I waved to Vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyways, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. He went to his room and locked the door then. We started Frenching, Frenching passively, and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He felt me up before I took off my top. Then he took off my black leather bra, and he took off his pants. He went to bed and started making out uh, naked, and then he put his boy thingy in mine, and we had sex. See, is that stupid? Oh, Draco! Draco screamed while getting an orgasm, when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo i never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic, written were the words, Vampire! I was so angry. You bastard! I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No, 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 you don't understand, Draco pleaded. But I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS. Uh, anyway, I put on, put on my clothes all huffily and stomped out. Draco ran out, even though he was naked. He had really big, you know what, but I was too mad to care. I stomped out the... And did so until I was in Vampire's classroom, where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape, as other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker, I yelled. I also not. Stop flashing, okay? If you don't, uh, you're uh, prep. <laughs> Everyone in class stared at me and Drake. Uh, asked me. Then Draco came into the room, even though he was snaking, and started begging me to take him back. Even though it's not what you think, he screamed sadly. My friend B. Lodi Mary Smith smiled at me understandingly. She flipped her long waist length of gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes, like blood that she was wearing contact lenses, contact lenses on. She had pale white skin, pale white skin, and she was wearing white makeup. Her moment, her moment, Hermione, Hermione, was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires. One of them is a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still has nightmares about it, and and she's very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith and not Granger. Since she has converted to Satanism, she is a Slytherin now and not Gryffindor. What is it you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape dim demeaned angrily. His called his call voice, but I ignore him. Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Drake, I shouted at him. Everyone gasped. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with Vampire, I'm by, and so is Ebony. For a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany. And a stupid, stupid, stupid preppy fucker. We were just good friends. He he had gone through horrible problems, and now he was gothic. Haha. <laughs> like, I would hang out with the prep. But I'm not going out with the... I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. You're fucking right. Fuck off, you bastard, I screamed. I ran out of the room into Forbidden Forest, where I lost my virility to Draco and started to burst into tears. <laughs> Auto note. Stop flaming, okay? I didn't read the books. Please, this is from the movie, so it's not my fault. If Dumbledore swears, Bezwidz... I said he had a headache, and the reason Snap doesn't like Harry now is because he is Christian and a vampire. He is a Satanist. MCR rocks. I was so mad and sad. I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry 
Jag ens tre vi I did it with Draco. Then suddenly a horrid white um, horrible white man with red eyes and a nose and uh, with no nose and everything started flying it towards me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose. Um, basically like Voldemort in the movie. He was wearing all black and he was obviously he wasn't gothic. It was Voldemort. No, I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted, Imperious, and I couldn't run away. Krunkshak, Krukshaks, I shouted at him. Voldemort fell off his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him, even though I must say this, so I stopped. Even he yelled, and I must kill Harry Potter. Even though um, I thought about a vampire with his sex eyes and gothic black hair, and how his face looked just like Joel Madden. Then I remembered that Draco I said I didn't understand, so I thought, what? What if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and they broke up? No, Voldemort shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. No, please, I begged. Thou must, he yelled. If thou dost not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. How did you know? I asked in a surprised way. Voldemort got a dude or so uh, retarded and looked at his face. I had the telekinesis. He answered cruelly, and if you don't, uh, do not, uh, don't kill vampire, then they must know what will happen to Draco, I shouted. Then he flew away angrily on a broomstick. I was so scared and mad, I didn't know what to do. Suddenly Draco came into the woods. Draco, I said, hi. Hi, he said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner, kind of like a pentagram, get it? Between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Are you okay? No, uh, I answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me, I expelled. That's okay, said all the press, and, went back, and we went back into Hogwarts, together making out. Author note. Stupid up, you gay fags. I do not like my story, then fuck off. Please, it turns out Ben Bloody Mary isn't a muggle after all, and she's a vampire and really that's see They moved the oasis, okay? <laughs> I was really scared about Voldemort all day. I was even upset when it went to rehearsal with my gothic metal band Bloody Gothic Row 666. I am the lead singer and of it and I play guitar. People say that we sound like a cross between GC, Slipknot and MCR. Oh god. Uh, whew. The other people in the band are B, Loddy, Mary, Vampire, Draco, Ron. Also, although we call him Diablo now, he has black hair now with the blue streaks in it and Hagrid. Only today, Draco and Vampire were depressed so they weren't coming and we wrote songs instead. I knew Draco was probably slitting his wrist. He wouldn't die because he was a vampire too. And the only way you can uh, kill a vampire is with a C-R-O-S-S. There's no way I'm writing that, or a stick. And vampires was and vampire was probably watching a depressed movie like The Corpse Bride. I put on a black leather skirt that showed off my a leather shirt that showed off my boobs, and a tiny matching miniskirt that simply said 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 simply plan plan simple plan on the butt. You might think I'm a slut, but I'm really not. <laughs> we were singing a cover of Helena, and at the end of the song, I suddenly burst into tears. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Be Lodi Mary asked in a concerted voice. What the fuck do you think? I asked angrily. And then I said, Well, Voldemort came, and the fucking bastard told me to fucking kill Harry. But I, I don't want to kill him because he's real nice. Even if he did go out with Draco, but if we don't kill Harry Voldemort, we'll fucking kill Draco and burst into te tears. Suddenly, Draco jumped out from behind a wall. Why did you fucking tell me? He shouted. Oh, can you, can you, you fucking poacher mogul bitch? See, is that out of character? I said to cry and cry. Draco started to cry all sensitive. And then he ran out crying. Oh, cry me a river, you poster. 
We had practiced for one more hour, that suddenly Dumbledore walked in angrily. His eyes were all fire, fiery, and I knew this time it wasn't uh, because he had a headache. What have you done? He started to cry wisely. See, that's basically not swearing, and this time he was really upset. A new will see you. Ebony Draco has been f Ebony Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists. Uh, uh, oh. <clears throat> also note, I said the uh, stupid Fleming Upresps. See if I this chapter is stupid one 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 one. I deals with really serious, um, serious issues in SPC for itself. If this stupid brief thanks to my friend Raven for uh, helping me. Yeah, oh yeah, the grammar of auto notes are insane. No! I screamed. I was horrified. Bloody Mary tried to cough at me, but I told her to fuck off and run to my room crying myself. Dumbledore chased after me, shouting, but he had to stop when I went to my room, because he would look pervy that way. Anyways, I started to cry in tears of blood, and then I slit both of my wrists. They got all over my clothes, so I took them off and jumped into the bath angrily, while I put on a Linkin Park song at full volume. I grabbed a stick and almost stuck it into my heart to commit suicide. I was so fucking depressed, I got out of the bathtub and put on a black loker dress with laces all over it sa sandly. I put on black high heels with pink metal stuff at the ends and six pair of metal of skull earrings. I could fucking believe it. Then I looked out the window and screamed. Snap was spying on me and he was uh, take a, uh, taking a videotape of me. And Lupin was masticating to it. They were sitting on a broomstick. Eh, you fucking perv, stop looking at me naked. Are you Peter with a water screen putting on a black towel with a picture of Marilyn Manson on it? Suddenly a vampire ran in. Wait, wait, wasn't he already dressed? Why well, should certainly need a towel? Abracadabra, he yelled at Snap and Lupin pointing his womb. I took my gun and shot Snape and Lupin a gazillion times and they both started screaming and the camera broke. Suddenly Dumbledore ran in. Ebony, it has been revealed that someone has. No! He shouted, looking at Snap and Lupin, and then he waved his wand and so wand and suddenly Hagrid ran outside on his broom and uh, said, Everyone, we need to talk. What did you know, Hagrid? You're just a little Hogwarts student. I may be. I may be a Hogwarts student, Hagrid, paused angrily, but I am also a Satanist. This cannot be, Snap said in a crisp voice as blood dripped from his hand, where Dumbledore had one had shot him. There must be other factors. You don't have any, I yelled madly. Lupin held up the camera triumphantly. The lens may be ruined, but the tape is still here. I felt faint more than normally I do, like how it feels when you do not drink enough blood. Why are you doing this? Lupin asked angrily when he rubbed his dirty hands on his clock. And when I heard the words <laughs> that I heard before, but not from him, I did not know whether to feel shock or happy or to bite him. Drink his blood because I felt faint. Because, because, Hagrid said and he paused in the air, dramatically waving his hand in the air. And swooped in his singing to the tune of a gothic version of a song by 50 Cent. Because you're gothic? Snap. Because you're gothic? Snap asked in a little afraid voice. Because he was afraid, it meant he was connected with Satan. Because I love her! Uh... <laughs> the plot twists!
stop funding. Okay, how great is a P2? A lot of people in America schools are like that. I wanted to address the issue. How do you, do you know Snap? I ain't Christian plus Hagrid isn't really in love with with Ebony. That was a Cedric. Okay. I was about to slit my wrist again with a silver knife that Draco had given me in case anything happened to him. He told me to use it valiantly against an enemy. But I knew that we, we must both go together. No! I thought I was... Uh, I, I thought uh, it was Hagrid, but it was Vampire. He started to scream. Oh my fifth G! No, my scar hurts! Then his eyes roll up. You could see his red whites. I stopped. How did you know? I saw it, and my scar turned into a, in, back into the lightning bolt. No, we ran up closer, I thought. You didn't have a scar anymore, I shouted. I I do, but the Jabbler changed it back into a pentagram for me, and I was always covered up with foundation, he said, back. Anyway, my scar has hurt and turned back into a lightning bolt. Save me! Then I had a vision of what was happening to Draco. Wol Wolfenbort has him bondage. <sighs> oh yeah. Anyways, I was in the school nurse office now, recovering from a slit wrist. Snap and Lupin, uh, ha ha ha, Harid were there too. They were going to Sant Mango after they recovered, cause they were pedophiles, and you can't have those fucking pervs teaching in school with with uh, hot girls. Dumbledore had constipated the CDO camera and took they took of me naked. I put my middle finger at them. Anyways, Hagrid came into my hospital bed holding a bouquet of pink roses. Ebony, I need to tell you something, he said in a very serious voice, giving me the roses. Fuck off, I told him. You know I fucking hate to call the pink anyways, and I don't like fucked up preps like you, I snapped. Hagrid had been mean to me before uh, being gothic. No, but I, Hagrid says, those are not roses. What are, what are they, goth to you, pro poser prep? I asked because I was angry that he brought me pink roses. I saved your life, he yelled angry. No, no, you didn't, he, I replied. You saved me from getting Paris Hilton vivid you made from your shower scene. And uh, being evoved by a snap and lupin. Who masturbated? See, is that spelled wrong? Uh, to it, had he had silently. Whatever, I yelled angrily. He pointed his wand at the pink roses. These are roses. He suddenly looked at them with an evil look in his eyes and muttered, Well, if you wanted honesty, that's all you had to say. That's not a spell, that's an MCR song, I corrected him wisely. I know, I was uh, just warning, warming up my vocal cords. Then he screamed, Petulus merengo mi cremicli romasio. For all cool gothic MCR fans out there, that's a tribute, especially for Raven, I love you girl. I am Unuto Okayo. And then the roses turned into huge black flame floating in the middle of the air, and it was black. No one knew he wasn't a prep. Okay, I believe you now. What the fuck is Draco? I grid rolled his eyes into the eye, mm, into the balls of flames, but I could see nothing. Here she, Bunny Dumbledore said, watching the two of us. Watching the fly, flame. To receive it in, in the flies. Aha. Uribeus flames. Get it? You must first find yourself uh, first. Okay. I have found myself. Okay, you mean old man. Hanger Hagrid yelled. Dumbledore looked shocked. I guess he didn't have a headache. Or else he would have said something back. Hagrid saw him back to his bed. 
Ura leier, prof. Dumble dory. Anyways, when I got to bed, I went upstairs and put on a black leather mini dress that was ripped on the ends and with laces on it. There was some corset stuff uh, on the front, then I put on black fishnets and black high heel boots with picture of Billy Joe Armstrong on them. I put my hair all around me so I looked like a Samra f- from the ring. If you don't know who uh, she is, you're a prep, so fuck off. Then I put on blood red lipstick, black eyeliner, and black lip gloss. You look kawaii, girl, Bloody Mary said uh, sadly. Thanks, get it? You do too, I said sadly. But I was still upset. I slit both of my wrists, feeling totally depressed. Then I sucked all of the blood. I cried again and in my bathroom and put on shades so Snap and Lupin couldn't spy on me this time. Oh, put the shades on. Mm. I went to some classes. Vampire was in the hair of magical magic creatures. He looked all depressed because the Draco had disappeared. And he had been used to be in love with Draco. He was sucking some blood from Huffle. Hufflepuff. Hi, he said in a depressed way. Hi, back, I said, in a equally sad way. We both looked at each other for some time. Harry had beautiful red gothic eyes, so much like Draco's. Then we jumped on each other and started screwing each other. Stop it now, you horny simpleton, shouted to McGoggle, who was watching us, and so was everyone else. Vampire, you fucker, I said, slapping you. Stop trying to screw me. You know I love Draco. I shouted and then I ran away angrily. Then he just started to scream. Oh, MFG, no, my scar hurts. Then his eyes rolled up and I could only see his red whites. No, I ran up close, sir. I thought he didn't have a scar anymore. I do, but Jablo changed it back into pentagram for me and always covered with foundation, he said. Anyway, it must got hurt when uh, I had a vision that Snape... Um, uh, that uh, a vision of happening in Draco. Volumos, Volder, Volefemort has him bondage. Special thanks to Rave, my gothic blood sister. Where the fuck you are supposed to read this? Hey, Raymond, you know where my... You know where my sweater...